Okay, well today is GCSE results day. Um, how have the students done? Well, as you can see from the delighted faces in the hall, our students have done really well indeed. With 70% of them um, getting five A stars to C's, you know, or more, including English and maths. These are really good results for them. They have worked very hard for it and they deserve every success they've got today. So we, we are really proud of them and we congratulate them all. 95% um, of them had five or more energy CSEs, so we're very happy with that. And nobody failed. That is really important, nobody failed. The EBAC figure also we were happy with. It was 28%, we think. It's a good year for Gable Hall School this year. We, we um, did really well in the A-levels also. Um, the, the figure, the pass rate for A-levels was 98.2%. We're really proud of that, with 45% of them going to university. So we've had a good year. The students have worked really hard, and we congratulate them all and wish them the very best that life has to offer for them going forward. We're also happy that some of them are coming to the sick form. So, yeah a good year. We have a, a lot of people to thank for this, starting with our teachers. They've worked very hard with our students. It's been a tough year, um, but it's been worth it for the students and for the teachers. Um, we want to thank the parents also for their support and congratulate the children again. They deserve their success. And, you know, given the worries we have had about English, um, it, it's, it's significant that the English results have held up this year. We're going to go back and look carefully um, at the marking to see that we have not been penalised in, in any way. But if the, the grades that we have are fair, then they are fair. But at this point, with the figures that we have now, um, at 70% A stars to C or more, including English and maths, the children. So it's GCSE results day and um, you've got your results, so how did they go? They went really, really well. I'm very happy with what I got. So, and you're like the amazing student, I've been told, that got, um, you're only 16 <laughs> and you're doing your GCSEs, but on top of that you're doing an A-level in dance. And tell us what result you got. I got an A in my A-level dance. So how did you do that? How did you juggle all of those subjects? <laughs> well, I really am hoping to go into dance when I'm older, so I was very, very motivated. And I'd done GCC dance, so I was I knew how knew what I what was required of me. So I just worked really, really, really hard. <laughs> I, I've got on my bit of paper here that are you pleased with your result? But it seems a bit silly. I am it? very <laughs> pleased with my result. I, I, it's going to be really weird not doing any dance in school because I'm staying at sixth form. It's going to be so weird not having any dance lessons or anything because I've been doing it since year seven. <laughs> so uh, what are you going to be? So what kind of subjects are you doing now in college? Uh, in college, I'm doing literature, history textiles and I'm not sure about the last one yet I haven't just decided. stick with three <laughs> um, so have you got um so what are your future steps do you want to go to university what career would um you want? I'd like to do something to do with dance I haven't decided what direction to take it in yet but yeah that's the aim to be a dancer <laughs> And so you've done incredibly well, as I keep saying. Um, and what help? You must have got some help from the students and, yeah. and your teachers as well. There is an amazing dance department at Gable Hall. Uh, the teachers are incredible. They support you every step of the way. And if it's getting too much, they'll help you out. And they're just great, really, really great. And what would you say to the students now coming up that are going to do their GCSEs, say, next year? What advice would you give them, given that you're super results and all? Um, I'd say what you put in, you get out. If you work really, really hard, then you're guaranteed good results. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Drink with his A's. I'll come tell you some and you've got your GCSE results and we were just out in the corridor and you showed me the paper and it was absolutely amazing. Can you tell me what your results were? Um, well, I got, I got all A stars apart from I got an A in citizenship. Um, yeah, I'm so pretty happy with that. It's still an A, it's quite amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's in that, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Crowns, what are your next steps? Where are you going to take them? Um, well, I'm going to stay here at the sixth form and I'm going to study um, double maths, English literature and history. So hopefully I'll do well in those. <laughs> and are you going to intend to go into university? Uh, yeah, hopefully. I'm not sure where I want to go yet or what I want to, want to study, but... I'll, I'll probably work that out in the next two years. I'll be fighting over you with those sort of grades. <laughs> How about you? How did you get on? Uh, I've got the A's and that I need for the science and maths to continue at term six form for the three sciences and maths and further maths. Are they your A levels, further maths and science? Yeah, that's what I wanted there. 
Wow, your brains must be huge. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of job are you looking into doing? I don't know yet, I'm just trying to keep it broad and go into science. And how about you, your results? Pretty good, I'm living with all A's and A stars, so it's good. And an A level in dance. It's absolutely amazing what you're doing. Are you going to go on to university or college? And... Yeah, I want to study medicine. And how has it been studying here at Gable Hall? How have you found it? Um, well, I like ever since I've joined here, I've always really liked the environment and the teachers are all brilliant. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm quite sad to leave actually because it's been really nice being here. <laughs> You'll still sort of be here in the college though, won't you? Yeah. Are you quite looking forward to that? Yeah. I'm going to a different college. Oh, are you? I won't be here. What college are you going to? I'm going to Chaffin 106 form because I live in Chaffin. So. It's nice that they're all local, aren't they? And then you can just sort of pursue it and you don't have to travel ages away. Well, um, congratulations on all your results. It's so funny because you're slightly disappointed with the A. But it's, it's, <laughs> no, not too much. No, not <laughs> Truly super. You, you deserve everything. You must have worked so, so hard for those results. Uh, uh, be apologetic. So, Reese, you got your GCSE results. You've just come running back from home to tell me all about it. So, what were your results? I've got uh, 13 A's and A stars overall. There are three stars and triple sciences and A's across most other subjects. Um, I've got one B in my Spanish, which is a short course, and one C in t um, music, apart from that, everything else was A's and A stars. Crowns, it seems like you've worked so, so hard to get them results. What is the magic? How do you get them grades? Hard work. Um, I've had a lot of support from my family and my friends, especially from my friends. Um, it helps being quite local as well, so I can literally just pop into school if I've got a question. Um, all the teachers here are so good. Um, you just come straight in, ask them something, and one of the teachers will help you. Um, the homework is very good, it gives you just little pointers and helps you with re revision. And when it comes to exam season, just non stop revision. Because I, I remember opening the envelope, I think I've forgotten the feeling, but what was it like opening that envelope and just thinking that was it? It was uh, quite ner nervous at first because it's like a, a make or break situation here. Um, but then when I opened it, it was quite an amazing feeling, seeing, just looking down the paper and seeing those A's, all different breakdowns. It was quite impressive actually. Shocked myself, but I'm very pleased with my results. And what are you doing next? What's the next step? Uh, I'm staying on at the Sanford and Corinthian 6 form um, to study five A levels. Uh, that's the triple science and double mathematics. Five? <laughs> five. <laughs> that's so much. How are you intending to juggle all of them? Um, just the same thing again. I'm just going to keep working hard, making sure I've got everything timetable so I know what to do when, just keep up to date with all the work. Well, I wish you every success. What was kind of the next step? What's your career like ambition? My career, um, I would like to be into the banking up in Canary Wharf. I'd like to be um, an investment banker. Well, that is very specific, it's very good so early on as well. But congratulations on your results, they're absolutely amazing. And I can only think you're going to.